Hey guys, just wanted to show you how I'm giving my uh, dishwasher a little bit of a facelift so that it matches a little bit better in the kitchen. Um, I've had this for a long time, but it still works really well. So as I've been replacing my other appliances, I've been going with the silver. So um, the one thing I never liked about my dishwasher and my previous uh, refrigerator and stove when I ordered everything in white I didn't realize how many shades of white there were so you know this white is different from this white is different from this white um, and the countertops are different so I just hated that <laughs> but it was too late you know we lived with it so what I'm doing now to the um, dishwasher is I'm just uh, giving it a little bit of a facelift by using a heavy duty contact paper. It is made for appliances. So uh, I ordered mine from Amazon and I did order the uh, brushed silver. And as you can see, I've got a piece on down here and it's like wrapping a package. You know, I just uh, took my measurements. The contact paper is very similar to any other in that it has the little grids on the inside here. So you can measure out, make some really straight, neat cuts. And uh, I also decided uh, to do a little bit of the top up here. Uh, I just did a small strip. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to cover any of my push buttons at the top. So I tried to stay away from that as much as I could. So now I'm getting ready. Um, I've cut my piece of silver for this, so we're going to go ahead and install that. Okay, so I'm going to start by lining it up at the top. And then go up underneath and start releasing it and pushing it down as I go. Just keeping it lined up as I go. will notice a huge difference in the weight of the paper. So releasing it is not as easy as regular contact paper. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that line. It um, leaves a harsh bend in the paper, unlike regular contact paper. So I'm thinking maybe we put that toward the bottom if I can get it to come off easily enough. all of the back off. I do have a whole roll of this, so if we mess up, we're still okay. okay so I'm going to try to go in at an angle. I've cut it a little too long on the sides so that I can trim if I need to, but I wanted it plenty. Together. I think that works better than trying to release it a little at a time. And it's got this uh, gap down here. You're going to want to cut down so that you can tuck that right up under like that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this side tucked in. And now I can just trim that off. 
I would say you could fold it around, but that's inside where all the steam and everything's going to be. So you're not really going to want to do that. Hey guys, this is the finished product. I found that when I tried to put the heavy duty silver on the large midsection there, that there were too many air bubbles. When I tried to smooth it out slowly, it would bend and crease because it was so thick. So when I tried to put it on together, just, you know, lay it on and then smooth it out, uh, the air bubbles appeared and I could not get them all out. So what I decided to do was do the silver top bottom with the marbleized contact in the middle. It went on much smoother and I still think it looks much, much better than it did. So I'm still happy. Uh, just wanted to share with you guys the finished product. Have a great week, guys. Bye.